It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Los Angeles Rams. Oh, hey, all the banners, six banners. The first and we are under the Super Bowl rematch. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And a nice job there right. by special teams nice. to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Throwing a Stafford. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And he's corralled at the 40. Don't make a tackle. Before picking up eight. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and Called short. in the white so. shot here I like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me I want to take that shot early and loosen things up knock his head out this has to go knock down the head the out, rounds in the playbook but oh so effective nice completion there keeps the sticks moving they'll run on first down with acres and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Man, open its cup. He's got it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Chance good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Second down and goal. Stafford. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Back in the center of the field. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. It's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I don't know if Aaron Donald's going to be moving like that. But... They're dancing like that. Now Jones. He'll buy some time right. 
Well, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing Jones. Escaping the pressure right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he... And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly Didn't did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. And this is incomplete. He definitely would have liked to hit on that one, Christian. because now you've got a third and long showing up, and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back, and they are coming. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Back to throw. Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This is fourth down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man is Myers. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touch. They're losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Jones. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Von Miller. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. 55 rushing yards, rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Now a run with Akers. 
Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. From the 30 on second down, Stafford, a quick pass to Cup. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. Just beating the play clock. Stafford trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. There he goes, right side. 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Oh. Six, six, baby. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What I'm were they thinking? That That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on Thanks. offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory sure, if you could hear me. <laughs> make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is now 10-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this we'll fly down there kick off the we'll away. hit somebody set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line. And yeah, they really won't have much time to work with. Just 19 seconds showing on the clock. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Three yards the game there, second down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now it's Stafford. And oh, come on. Complete with just six seconds left on the clock. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. And a rebound fourth down. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it, it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. 
That's it for the first half. Yeah. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times. Fight. Maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers. Legend because they probably Newman. allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Oof. Nice man, hey, looking like a man possessed, looking like Larry Zonka. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Running out of the gun with White, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third Ain't quarter of this one, around. and this is a tight one. In order to maintain the ball pace, the keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. They bring him down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. From the gun, Jones. He completes it to Henry. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys, Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 25. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. After the interception, here's Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's complete to his tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Stafford going to give the Acres on the draw. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here's Akers. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now a first down throw. Stafford. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. So the scoring's right up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he's going to have a Patriots first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll go down at the 28. Yeah, once more, a strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. they got a nice little drive brewing right here. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Stafford now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact caught the ball free, and it's fourth down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And Stafford for the third time couple. is intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. Couple's well, you knew you had to take some the chances game. here. With Can you hear me? Winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Oh, okay. You got cup open, man, down the middle. Drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. You had the Cooper Cup open down the middle. Everything that they do. But not yeah, I thought you were going to throw it. I was like, oh, snap. The and then you, you went left. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. It's all good, man. Good game. GG. Yeah. Streaming on Twitch, just FYI. <laughs> Got this game on. On the Twitch. There it is. So this will line up a victory. Another win for the 32 team man challenge. It wasn't a shutout. They did give up the oh. in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth. Brandon, if you throw a shutout with the for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. Next this teams on the following stream. Almost like if you say baseball and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first a lot time today. the get to see him. And then they come out after that. Probably a little too much. Blazing, but. Right? I think they saw their best stuff in the on. first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What Might be some of my last games on Madden 22. Excuse me. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out Big at easesports.com. The Patriots winners Big here at home as it. we say so long from Foxborough. All right, it's another win.